Thank you for purchasing the Desk 5. After you have unpacked the Desk 5 and placed it in your work area, you'll want to start in the back of the unit. Start by connecting the process gas line, typically argon. To do this, you'll want to use an adapter to go from the 1 8 inch female NPT fitting coming out of the back of the system to whatever type of connector you're using for your gas line. In our case here, we have a quarter inch swage lock adapter, which is the preferred connector. Secure the adapter into the port labeled gas. Next, you'll want to connect the gas line, using the appropriate connector to match the adapter you just installed. Now you can connect the pump to the back of the system. This is a KF25 fitting, so you don't need any tools. Be sure the O-ring is aligned properly and tighten the clamp. Hand tight is sufficient. Next connect the electrical cord of the pump. This gets plugged into the back of the unit next to the pump hose you just secured. Finally, you can connect the main power cord. First plug it into the back of the unit and then plug it into the wall outlet. Before you power on the unit, make sure that the valve of the pump is facing the up position as shown. It chips with the valve in the closed position, horizontal. So ensure that the valve is open, vertical, before starting the system. Before you turn on the unit, you'll want to ensure that the emergency stop button is out. This button is sometimes inadvertently pushed in during shipping and handling. Now turn on the unit using the switch located above the power cord and remove the protective film from the touchscreen. Push the run button on the lower right of the touchscreen. More on this in a moment. Now you can prepare the chamber. Remove the protective cardboard sleeve and replace it with the included glass cylinder. Ensure everything is centered and the lid seats properly on the cylinder. Next we'll be looking at loading the target. To mount the target, you'll want to wear latex gloves and use a small Phillips screwdriver. Begin by removing the grid, which is secured with three thumb screws, followed by removing the retaining ring using the Phillips screwdriver. Ensure the target is centered and the side of the retaining ring with the countersunk holes is facing up. Reinsert the four screws into the retaining ring. Do not tighten them all the way just yet. This will allow you to move the target if it is not centered properly. Once you are satisfied with the placement of the target, tighten the four screws. Reattach the grid with the thumb screws and close the lid. Once the unit is on, press the run button on the lower right followed by pressing the start button on the next screen. Now you are at the main screen which gives you a system overview. Pressing screens takes you to the menu where you can press manual sputter followed by mechanical pump which will start the unit pumping down. Pressing mechanical pump again turns off the pump and opens the vent valve. For more information and pictures refer to the manual included on the thumb drive that shipped with your unit.